Hey guys, Chris Mover here. Welcome today to a new video. So in this video, we'll be talking about how to make uh, something like this. Hello, my name's Block and I have a problem. So as you can see, there are basically two main elements in that little animation over there. There was the blinking of the character's eyes and the movement of his mouth. Uh, so in today's video, we'll be focusing more on the eye movements of the character. So it's actually quite easy to make his eyes blink. So let's go over to After Effects, create a new comp and... Let's get down to it. Alright, so once you have a new composition, layer, new solid. Uh, I'm going to make my character, I don't know, pink or something. Right, let's name him Block. Alright, so you got a character over here. Um, and hit Q to select your to, to, to select the shape tool. And I'm just going to draw like a little square over here. Sorry, this would be like, you know, the character. Alright, so now that we have like just the basic outline of like a little block, uh, what I'm going to do next is actually add in the eyes. So to add in eyes, I'm going to create a new composition. Call this composition eyes and just go into it. Um, next, layer new solid. Um, so for this solid, we're going to make it white because you know the eyes are actually white outside and black in the middle. So we've got a white solid over here. Then click Q again and this time hit, click, keep hitting Q until you get to the ellipse tool. Ellipse, sorry, ellipse tool. And just draw a little uh, ellipse. Right, so you can just... Uh, imagine how an eye would look like and you can just tweak it to your satisfaction. So I'm gonna give him like a little droopy uh droopy eyes thingy. Just add a little point here, just pull it out a bit, something like that. Okay. <laughs> looks looks interesting. And uh hit new solid and this time uh, make the solid black. Click OK. Um so go down over here and turn down the as in turn off the visibility of the solid over here. And with the solid, select, so solid selected, go back to your uh, shape layer two, hit Q, and carve out how you want the you know the eyeball inside to look like. So I want something like that. So turn it on, and you will see the eyeball coming on. Um, I'm gonna make this a little droopier. Like I don't know, just give it a rest set, set kind of look, something like that. Yeah, that's interesting. All right, so that's our eye over there. So if you just scroll through and scroll through now, it's nothing interesting. It's just an eye, nothing much. Um, so now we need to click, create some eyelids. So go over to layer, new, solid once again. And um, I don't know what color eyelids. Let's make this a weird character. Let's give him like purple, pink eyelids or something. Uh, yep. Yeah. And turn off um, the visibility once again. Now with the sol solid still selected, go over and click on the pen tool this time. You can also hit G to select the pen tool. And now you're going to trace out how an eyelid would look like on a face. So um, I'm just going to do it slowly over here. You can you can be more precise about this, but you know it's just a little video, so I'm not actually going to be extremely precise. Uh, say something like that. Yeah, okay, let's turn it on. And so that's your eyelid over here. Uh, as you can see, it's not fully covered, so you can go over here and continue to tweak it if you want. You know, just pull it out until it covers all the white edges. Uh, something like that. Uh, something like that, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> now go over to the um shape itself and hit F to bring up the mask feather, and you're gonna feather it out just a bit, like you know, like one, just to make the the edges a bit softer, so it looks more blended. Um, yeah, pink looks actually quite strange, so let's just change it back to black. Uh, to make things more convenient, uh, we can also just change the compositions composition color to red so we actually can see it a little better right so there we go we got the eye over here uh one two is still too much about one looks good okay so this is your character's eye and what you need to do now is you need to go over to the um settings over here scroll down mask and hit mask path hit the stop watch here to set a keyframe over there all right now zoom in all the way and go to like maybe let's say one frame later or two frames later and with you know with the pen tool still selected what you to do now is you want to oops sorry with the pen tool still selected what you need to do is now you're going to change the shape of the eyelid to actually fit the entire eye so all right uh let's try to get it nice and something like that i guess yeah so my, it looks really bad, but yeah, like I said, I'm not really focusing on accuracy here. So you can see from the first frame to second frame, it just flopped. This is like a, blink, a little blinking action. 
So copy the first keyframe and maybe move down like two frames later, something like here. And there you go, you have your eye movement, very rapid blink. So you can just take it, control C, copy that, and just go along and you know paste it however you like. Something like that. Da, 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 da. Uh, you'll make it a bit irregular because you know we don't actually like blink at very constant intervals. Uh, so let's try that, that's how this looks. Oops, okay, let's take a look at it. So as you can see, it's quite simple. We just got a little blinking eye movement, right? So this will be uh, so you can so now now in our uh, composition the block, drag in your eye layer, and position it. Uh, oh, it's quite big. You can scale it down a bit, squash it up a bit, and position it over here. So I'm going to name this uh, right eye. Then I'm going to duplicate the, duplicate this layer and rename this to left. And so now I'm going to move it over here and just bring up rotation and maybe move it a bit to the right just to give it a little off kilter look. Now I just hit play and as you can see we have our little cute character <clears throat> with his eyes blinking just looking really like snug and stuff. So yeah, that's basically how you get the character's eyes to blink. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for part 2 in which we talk about talking. Have a nice day. Yeah.